Today I'm going to talk to you about content marketing and the benefits of content marketing to brands across Jamaica. Content marketing is creating unique and relevant content that is put online or in other, cha other channels such as TV and, and print, but it's unique content that is relevant to the audience. It starts a two-way conversation between customers and the brand, whereas traditional media seems to be very one-way and it doesn't allow or facilitate that conversation between brands and customers. Content marketing is completely scalable, whether you've got big budgets or you've got no budget. You can create a whole movie around one piece of content or you can take your smartphone, go out onto the road, take a picture and upload it and that will cost a brand or a business zero. How do brands know what to write about and how to develop content or what to develop content around? The first thing is brands need to understand what their customers like and what is relevant to them. Once they understand that, they can create all the content around that. From Digicel's point of view, we look to create content that engages with our customers, starts a conversation, and encourages them to use the content through their mobile device. We look to measure the success strategy by looking at key indicators such as Facebook likes, shares, retweets, and downloads. The beauty about using online platforms is that you can measure all of this. You can see where your customer is, how long they're on your site for, and what they're doing on your site. A recent example of content marketing was when Digicel launched the Jamaica Happy video. We uploaded it onto our social media platform on a Friday evening, and by Monday morning we had over 500,000 people viewing this piece of content. That was unique, was locally relevant, and got people talking. That achieved all of our objectives in developing content that was going to get people talking about our brand across Jamaica, but also across the world. Today, content marketing is a critical part in the overall marketing mix. It's not going to get people a quick sale. It helps get people talking about brands. It helps build brand loyalty, which some people would say is more important than a quick sell. For any company that's out there that's looking to develop a content marketing strategy, you need to ask yourself five questions. The first is, what are the objectives and are you measuring them? From a digital sales point of view, we look to create content that starts a conversation, engages our customers, and encourages data usage. Two, are you using the right platform? you need to understand where your customer is. We have over one million people consuming internet on their smartphones daily, so we need to get into that space. For example, if most of your customers were on the bus every day, you need to get into that space and engage with them there. Three, does your content target certain audiences? Your content needs to target the different groups in your target market whether that be something that targets or is relevant to a younger person or an older person. We create content that is relevant to our youth market, such as exclusive content around Sunfest, or we also create content around the fiber and the logistics of for our business C-level executives. Four, is a content marketing strategy aligned with the overall business objectives? You need to ensure everything is working together. There's no point in doing one thing without it feeding into the overall objective. Five, is your approach integrated? And what I mean by integrated is, is it working with your other elements of the marketing mix? Is it working with your TV, your print, and your radio, and your online ads? Everything needs to work together. You need to put the customer at the center of all of these and have them all feed into the overall marketing mix. Once you've taken into consideration these five tips, you're on your way to developing a first-class content marketing strategy. Because I'm happy.